Hey guys, it's Jason here, and today I will be talking to you about the Tell Me When add-on. Um, this is actually the mother of rating add-ons that you're gonna need in order to configure your. You're gonna want to track your debuffs, you want to track your buffs, whatever you want to do, track your internal cooldowns, anything like that. I will help you through putting up this process, but it's gonna be a very simple, clean guide. You know, it's going to not have too many animations in it or whatever. Um, it's, going to, it's just going to be simple the way I use it. Um, you could use on, you could check on advanced guides if you want to like make it fancy or anything. But basically for me, this will do just fine. So let's get into it. All right. First, what we're going to do is type slash tmw. Let's tell me when an abbreviation for it in our chat, and we want to press enter. Um, you won't have all these fancy things popping up um, yet because I've. This is the things that I've configured for myself. Um, you will only have a bar with four icons in it. Um, now let's say, for example, um, we want to track a buff here. Now, we want to, more specifically spoken, we want to track our Dark Soul. Like, how long is it going to be up? Um, basically, we right click on the first icon, we go to Main, and right here is the thing where the magic happens, actually. Um, Click on icon town. Uh, I can type. <laughs> we got a Dropbox. Obviously, you can see it. It's a buff or a debuff. I won't go over all these things because it'll take a long time. But I'll just go over the basic things. How you can get ready for like tracking everything and whatever you want to do with it. Um, right now, we want to see two spells to check. We type in Dark Soul. Don't really think uh, like this is a compilation of the damage buffs you get, defensive buffs, whatever. These are compilations of all. Raid wide damage increasing buffs you can get, whatever, or like specific things. You don't really do this. Um, I know for myself, I'm a demonology warlock, so I have to go with knowledge, the Dark Soul knowledge. We click this, units to watch now. You've got a lot of choice here. Um, we want to go for player, obviously. You can type a name in here as you want to, but player unit is you. Um, we want it to, we want our tell me when to watch us for our Dark Soul buff. We click here, buff debuff, right? Um, well, it's not a debuff that we want to see. We want to see the buff of Dark Soul knowledge. Basically, don't forget about this. We'll come to this in a second. Now here, we want to press any, well, we want to check any presence. So basically when there's any buff present from Dark Soul that we have popped, it will show it. Um, basically right here, normal duration, normal stacks. Don't really mind that. Um, always hide, that's what I do with these things because I don't use them anymore. Um, then on here, timer sweeper or timer sweep. Want to do show timer, it will show you a sweep animation over this thingy. Like, it will take 20 seconds to, you have the buff, um, you have the buff thingy up for 20 seconds. So, it will start here, like just a general cooldown or a global cooldown. Um, it will go, it will take 20 seconds to complete this. Show timer text will actually put like the seconds on here so we will put it 20 or 15 whatever how long it will be up um, on this icon and yeah that's about it forget about these things you can like make it power up or something I don't know like um, or fill let, let the icon be filled by here by the um, fill bar whatever don't really mind that just press ok now um, what do we want to do as well well we've brought we, when we use our dark soul it will show the buff right here um, but we want to see like what we want to do like also is check the cooldown of our you know dark soul this can be done by any um buff or whatever debuff skill you're popping right now we go to spell cooldown um so we want to see when is my dark soul up again and when can i use it again um we go here shoot spells to check dark soul again know the same thingy but we want to click unusable here um because it's going to be unusable for at least two minutes or like maximum two minutes, I'm sorry. Um, but it can be unusable for like say, let's say one minute 30 seconds. And we know that by just watching to our screen, we know like, oh, okay, it's up in, in like 20 seconds and I have to work in my, around my abilities. I have to generate a lot of demonic fury, whatever, or generate lightning shield stacks, I don't know, to get my offensive cooldown back up. Show timer, show timer text, as I've said. Click OK. Um, so that's about it. Um, basically, this will show you your Dark Soul effect, how long your Dark Soul will be up, and this will be showing it how long it, well, it will take to to you be able to use the ability again. 
Now what I'm going to do right now is shorten this in. I'm going to say, hey, I only need two columns. So we can drag around with this. We can play around with this. Let's say we're going to put that right here. Now, um, I want to track my debuff on a target. Um, we don't want like a whole box with all these things in it. We, we actually don't just want it to be proper, you know, or like to, you know, be, let, let's say we want a clean layout or a clean UI. Right click on here, go to main options and right here, add another group. Now you can, ch you can choose from the bar or vertical bar, but we actually just want the icon. This, this is what I work with. This is what most people work with. Just the icon thing. So we click that, click OK, and we will have another bar right here. Um, now let's see. Um, I only want to track my corruption. I don't want to track my doom. I only want my corruption to be tracked. So we go, we're going to make one thing. We're going to say one column, one row. It will make you one square. Now we go to main. So this is actually, um, this, is, this is actually going to be our dots on the target. We go here, buff debuff, because it's the de uh, debuff again. Um, choose spells to check. Okay, so we want our corruption to be checked, obviously. This can be like a, a flame shock. This can be a poison on the target. This can be anything you ever wanted. Um, just a dot on the target. Units to watch. Well, we don't want our corruption to be tracked on us, but we want it to be tracked on the target. So, there we go. Click target. Easy as that. Now, it's not a buff on the target, it's a debuff. You see, you can go many ways with this. You can, like, for example, track a certain buff on the target or whatever. But for now, we're just going to do press debuff. Um, I'd say you experiment with this add-on a lot. It will just, you know, it actually all makes sense. Um, right here, we actually do want to um, check only caused by me. Because, um, let's say there's another Affliction or Demonology Warlock in my raid. And he wants to, he's putting Corruption on the target as well. It will be tracking that. I only only want mine, my corruption there. So any present, um, if there's any present on the target, blah, 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 just just think logical when you're trying to do this. Just think straight and think clean. Uh, normal duration, normal stacks. Show timer, show timer text again. Put that right here. Let's say we make another group. You know, another icon. Right now, um, let me let me mix things up. One column and two rows. Oh, whoops. Okay. Right now, let's see, we want to track um, our trinket. Uh, basically, for these thinkies, these uh, trinkets, these equipped trinkets, you don't really, yeah, let's say it's, it's approximately, it can proc, like, it could even proc three times a minute. But, <coughs> yeah, just don't worry about that. You will need to do calculations and anything um, in order to, to get the average proc of this. Don't worry. We're going to track our unused trinket. Um, right now, we got to think logical again. If we use it, we get a buff. We get a buff ourselves. So, basically, we right click here. Um, go to main again. Oh, it's a buff. Yeah, obviously. Um, choose spells to check. Now, you can't put your shards of nothing here. It won't show up, as you can see. You need to know your proc effect. You need to know what buff is going to be up here. And as I know, you just proc it or you just Google it. I don't know. Um, for me, it's void shards. This is the thingy. This is the known trinket thingy. Units to watch player. Obviously, we want to track our buff. Buff only cost by me. Well, you can. Doesn't really matter if it's a buff. Only if it's a debuff. So yeah. Any present, normal, blah blah. Show timer, show timer, text. Now there will be a clock in here. Don't worry about it. Once you proc it, once you use your trinket, it'll change to the icon you will see here as well. Now we want, we also want the cooldown on this, but this is not a spell cooldown. You know, it's it's it, you can't just go clicking spell cooldown and track the spell cooldown of this. This is actually an item. So what we do right now is um, we know it's a two minute cooldown right here. It says so. We go here and we go internal cooldown. It's for actually proc or like cooldown or like trinket effects, whatever you see. There we go. Um, void charts again. Now this is where actually the hardest part of the video comes from. We click here and we go to void charts. Now what we need to do is like type a amount of seconds in here. Like it's like how long is going is the cooldown going to take? Apparently, tell me when doesn't know that. It says here two minutes. We, that's 120 seconds. There we go. Cooldown begins when we cast when this is present here. 
you want your the cooldown count to begin because when you've activated it it will take it will start counting down you know um don't refresh just don't don't look at that um because your your trinket cannot refresh um right here we want to use unusable so we actually want to track the cooldown when it's usable again um right here show timer show timer text and that's about it um you're done actually now let's see the results um so we do slash tmw um let's see we want to track the corruption first there we go well i've got three things three places to track it right now um right now it will pop up here here in big and now let's see our trinket and our debuff or our buff there we go oh my trinket proc it's up in two minutes again i know right now my dark soul is sharing it with this proc with, with this um trinket it's up right now for this amount of seconds but hey where's where's our um our cooldown from our from our darks well that's because i have two stacks right now you can see it's up my cooldown will be up in one minute 30 seconds whatever there we go and we can you know track it like this just do it for everything um yeah so that's about it one quick tip that i can give you is um Let's say you wanna, for me, like I need to track my soul fire procs. Don't worry about it. Soul fire is a buff that stacks here. Your procs are always buffs that stack here. And they'll show you like, just, you know, look at the name, type it over. It's a molten core proc for me. It will automatically, um, you know, tell you how many procs you have. It will adjust here as well. So don't worry about nothing. Um, that's it. Hey guys, I hope you really enjoyed the video. Um, basically, if you have any questions regarding Tell Me When or, or Warlocks in general, feel free to ask me um, or just, you know, ask me in the comment section below. Um, you can also follow my stream on twitch.tv slash chasing gaming if you want to. It would do wonders for me. So yeah, um, see you guys later.